Hi, this is E.T., and this is Stanley Ketchell. Also known as the Michigan Assassin, he was born in 1885. He was dead at age 24 in 1910. The famed Ring Lardner wrote about Ketchell's death this way. Stanley was 24 years old when he was fatally shot in the back by the common-law husband of the lady who was cooking his breakfast. Ketchell was rated by Nat Fleischer, founder of Ring Magazine, as the greatest middleweight ever. Ketchell was the poster boy for rough, hard scrabble growing up. In his early teens, Stanley had run away from his Montana home. He began earning a living as a saloon bouncer, then a fighter. Eventually, he'd be fighting the Galveston giant, Jack Johnson, in 1909. But we're not talking today about Stanley Ketchell's famed ring career, but rather one of the most bizarre episodes in ring history, one that had it played through, would have had major impact well beyond just boxing. Now here's the story. 4th of July, 1910, the heavyweight champion, Jack Johnson, met the challenger, a former champion, James J. Jeffries, in uh, Reno, Nevada. It was billed, as many fights have been before and since, as the fight of the century. And this fight of the century, as anybody around either one of the fighters knew, was untrue. Jeffries was very old, sick, having been retired for over half a decade, and he had to lose a massive amount of weight very quickly. He was so ill that his own doctor feared that any exertion might threaten his life. Now, one person very aware of Jeffrey's condition was Stanley Ketchell, who previously spent 12 rounds with Jack Johnson, and he knew just how good the champion was. And Stanley spent some time in the Jim Jeffries training camp, and he assessed what even Jim Jeffries' brother knew, that the former champion, Jim Jeffries, uh, was not the fighter he used to be, barely a shadow of his former self. He had no chance against a prime Jack Johnson. Note this, returning to the ring was not Jeffries' idea. He'd been pressured to dethrone the first black heavyweight champion, and that was done by a consortium of very influential men, including the novelist Jack London. Well, Stanley Ketchell spent time in Jeffrey's camp watching his friend train, and he told Wilson Misner, who was Ketchell's manager, well, Jeffrey's licked. Jeff does not have a chance of winning. The next day, According to Wisner, Ketchell proposed to spare Jim Jeffries the humiliation of losing, and his plan was this. Come time for the fight, Stanley would be introduced to the ring audience, then he would walk to each corner, he'd go to Jeffries first to shake hands and wish him good luck. Then Ketchell was going to knock out Jim Jeffries with a sucker punch. And if Ketchell had landed that punch, it was a guarantee that Jeffries would go down. Stanley put it this way to Mesner. I don't care what they think about it. It will save old Jeff from the worst hole he's ever been in, or any fighter has. I can say that he has insulted me or threatened me, but I figured out just how to get out of that arena in the excitement, and I don't care what happens about it. Well, Mesner panicked after hearing this, and he informed the promoter and others about Ketchell's plan. Mesner was convinced that Stanley would carry out his plan, and that would mean not only a fortune lost in revenue, but possibly a major riot. So everybody in the Jeffries camp was on alert to keep Ketchell very far away from the ring come fight time. 
had Ketchell knocked out Jeffries, and then the bout been canceled. The ramifications would have been far-reaching right up to today because this episode, I'm talking about Jim Jeffries' 15-round loss, became a pivot episode in the emerging civil rights movement, drawing worldwide attention to racial discrimination in not just boxing, but sports in general, and even beyond. Johnson would suffer, as you know, for his success, even serving time for violating the Mann Act, or, in fact, actually marrying the wrong woman. Jack Johnson would eventually receive a posthumous pardon from President Donald Trump. And that's it. Do give this video a thumbs up. If you do, it kind of gooses the YouTube algorithm. Do subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon and you'll be notified of any new uploads. Type in your comments below. Thank you.